Hi, I'm Kenny from Mini Bowl Design, and today uh, it was very warm. Well, not that warm. It's probably in the, um, around 40, but it just feels springy, is what I'm trying to say. And it made me think about getting out and backpacking, doing some hiking, uh, you know, maybe even doing some time on the Appalachian Trail. But anyway, uh, that led me to pull down my pack, which has been setting all winter. I goofed around with it for a while, but as winter wore on, I became bored with it. Now that it's spring and I'm going to get a chance to use it, or will be spring soon, uh, I thought I'd pull it down and go through it and show you guys what's in it, uh, a little bit to a time. But I wanted to point out my goal is uh, this pack right now, without consumables, without food, water, and fuel for my stove, and anything consumable, <clears throat> Uh, weighs 4 pounds and 12 ounces. I don't want to go over 5 pounds, that's my goal. You and I both know if it was something that would uh, you know, have anything to do with safety that I'd, I'd, I'd go over 5, but I'm trying to do it safely at 5 pounds or less, including the pack. Okay, now uh, I want to keep it down to 5 pounds and I'm, I've got 4 ounces to play with. Whoopee! But I want to put this in. And this is a Patagonia hollow fiber sweatshirt. It's one of my prized possessions. I really don't like to go anywhere without it. It's a, it's a pillow. It's really warm. It's, it's, you know, it's got a pouch in the front where you can put your hands. It's a pullover. It's just, just one of those things I really like. I'd wear it in the hammock at night if it was cool. But if I put it in here right now, I'm going to be eight ounces over. So I'm trying to find some place in this pack, or places in this pack, where I can shave eight ounces. That's my goal of, of this video and all the other videos on this, as well as just reviewing what's in my pack. So um, the first thing I did was start to go through it because I, I'm be perfectly honest with you, I've forgotten what what was in it. It's just. I'm getting old, my memory's not that good, and I didn't use it that much, so uh, it'd be kind of fun to go through it. And the first thing I noticed was there was something right here. Now this has a, a big pocket in the back for a lot of stuff, and then it has a small pocket here that appears to be sewn in for something long and thin, like tent poles, I would say. Now, I don't carry a tent, so I'm not going to use that. So I put something in there that I could get at fairly quickly without opening the pack. And lo and behold, when I pulled it out, it was kind of a, oh yeah, I remember now, one of those deals. Now, uh, if you look in here, you can see there's a bunch of meds in here, painkillers and everyday medication. And then over here, there's three bottles, three micro bottles. One has soap in it, the other one has shampoo, and I believe that the third one, yeah, I can see ivy on it, is a steroid for poison ivy, believe me. Uh, I've used this many, many times over the years. If you get into poison ivy and you put this on, it'll take care of it. And anything, I would not want to have a bad dose of poison ivy and be out on a hot summer's day out on the trail. Just, just no. Uh, there's also, I can see, a small container of bag bomb there. There's a sewing kit right there. There's a whole package of bandages and sterile wipes. And This is a video in itself, basically. I can't tell you everything's in here because I just can't remember. We probably ought to do a video on it. And I'm sure with a few comments from other people, uh, we could improve on it. But i got to admit, just looking at it right now, it's not bad. Okay, now that's all that's in that little pouch, but then I've got a, 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 the main compartment here in the back, open compartment you can reach right into, for things that you want right away, or things that uh, you wanted to dry, that wanted, out, wanted them out in the open air, wouldn't want to lock them into your pack. And what I came up with was a Sawyer's uh, Squeeze Water Filter System. If I remember correctly, it weighs four ounces, something like that. I mean, it's, it's maybe even less. I can't remember. But it, I will weigh this stuff in, in the future. But that's you know, by far the lightest way to go. I couldn't find anything any lighter than that. And it works well. <clears throat> Hollow fiber technology. And lastly for this video 
is in 42 or 45 ounce, 48 ounce platy bag uh, to when you get to your water source in the evening, uh, fill up for to cook with and wash up with and all your water needs. That would be enough for me. Uh, fill, filter it with this and I'd have good, safe, clean water. So that's everything in the back. And like I said, I've, I've got plenty of room. This sweatshirt would probably fit in the top here easily. Or uh, this rolls up to here. So I've got plenty of room. It's weight I'm looking for. I'm looking to shave some weight. So that's everything I'm going to do for this video. In the next video, we'll get into main compartment and take a few things out and talk about them there. So I'm Tenny from Mini Bull Design. Get out and hike. Take a friend. Enjoy the great outdoors. And more important than anything, try to have a really great day. Bye-bye.